Hey, what's up guys? It's Christian. And man, does it feel good to be back. I've just spent about three weeks in Thailand, checking out Phuket, Bangkok, Erawan, Koh Phangan. Just had an awesome time. We picked up plenty of inspiration to create a brand new region of mine, which I just uploaded called Lost Princess. If you guys haven't seen it yet, check out this link right here. But hurry up, because it might disappear. Now, chaos theory. Today, I'm going to talk to you about chaos theory. For all you squares that don't know what chaos theory is, let me enlighten you. Chaos theory basically refers to the study of seemingly random dynamic systems which are incredibly sensitive to initial stimuli. Now, in English, what that pretty much means is that chaos theory argues that in a seemingly random study, let's say a deck of 52 playing cards, these cards seem in a big random order, but you know what? They're actually not. There is an underlying order and a purpose to every single card in here. And if we change just one of these cards, it's gonna affect the final outcome. So today, we're gonna try a little experiment here and try and see if this works. I'd like you to pick any card that you'd like. It doesn't really matter, it's a free choice. Let's say this one, all right? The four of clubs. That's gonna be a selected card. Now the four normally lives here. But we're gonna test Chaos Theory out and change its initial order. Instead of keeping it there, let's give it a new position. Say, I don't know, there. Give it take a couple cards, doesn't really matter. It's nice and random at the end. That's the entire point of it. So, a bit of a riff shuffle, bringing it in. Give it an overhand shuffle, let's drop a couple cards. Hey, who cares? It's all random at the end, right? Let's just get this messed up. Okay, so, chaos, pretty much everywhere. And that's the theory of it. Now we go to test this theory and see if it works. Give it one, two cuts, ripple, and now let's take it up one extra level, guys. We're gonna take half the deck. And put it face down, and we're going to ripple this the entire way through the back. Just like that. Now check this out. Now open it up, and you can see for yourselves. These cards are put in random orders, in job, different intervals. It's a big mess. It's chaos. Alright? Take this up, give it, I don't know, one, two more cuts, make sure everything is nice and random, and now we're good to go. We've got chaos with face up and face down cards. At some other points we might have face down to face up cards. And at other points we might even have more face down to face up. Face up to face up even. Because it's all in one big random mess. Let's check this out. If the theory is right, all I need to do is snap my fingers, give it a little wave, and check this. High deck has now reorganized itself back into its original state, except for one card and one card alone. That's the four clubs. That's Chaos Theory, baby. I hope you enjoyed it, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.